clear and unrelated, not that complicated, web of events. I ended up driving to Mr. Teo Parvati's house. Yes, the legend himself. I was dropping off some vacuum cleaners that he bought from somebody else who lived closer to me. But, as you can see, I didn't leave empty-handed. He asked if I would like to be the next current custodian of this royal device. Yes, it is a royal 606 of an undetermined age. We all know it works very well. Please watch his videos on it if you would like. But no, it's ours. And, you know, it'll clean up quite well. It's also very familiar in a number of ways. And we'll get it back together because we took it apart a bit. So it will fit in my car for the camping trip that I was going on as I was going past. And we'll check it still works and see if it's as good as I remember it being at his house. Because I, I saw him not long after he first got it. And it was lovely. Let's have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner and random American electronics chums. How are you today? Because yes, this is a 240 volt machine. The very nice Volex that is on the end of the very nice ribbed cable will confirm that indeed. Yeah, it's an it's a English model of a commercial vacuum cleaner that was made somewhere from the 60s to the 80s, I'm not sure. I did find a very handy thread on Vacuum Land, as one usually does when one is looking for information and whatever the heck they bought. But it went on about the motor in watts, and this said it's got a 1.2 amp motor in it. So I haven't quite managed to date it yet. Comment down below if you know, but for now, I mean, it might be written on the thing inside. For all I know yet, we shall find out another day. For now, like I say, I know it runs because I've played with it before. There we go. We have assembled the first part of it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little mini dirty fan commercial grade vacuum cleaner. And all this back end is incredibly similar to that 1920s PA gear, the royal, before they were royal, with the single handle bale, the twisty knob for the rear wheels, just everything about it by the fact that of course the airflow comes out of this side whereas on the royal was pre-order this it came out of this side which was very cool indeed right well yeah probably not much more we're going to do to this bit here we're going to move on to the bag and i'm not quite sure what to think about this bag well i think a few things of it and i first of all i think wow isn't it utterly mint? The second is it's rather orange, and I mean it's, it's definitely a genuine bag, you know. Says it there. Has anybody worked it out yet? I don't think Mr. Power has ever really found out. It certainly came with the vacuum. Inside of here are very generously some bags. We have an unused sealed packet of three and two here because bless him, he took the third mildly used bag out. Well, he gave it to me. You may as well have kept it in there, mate. I'm not going to put too much more dirt in it either. But never mind, we shall do the thing. Now, as a keen eyed among you may have noticed that there is a hose inlet port. Hose inlet, yeah. Fill tube inlet port. There we go. Look, Royal Type B bags. The sack from my American friends. Yeah, look, we've got to look. This is mint. This is why I'm not entirely sure this isn't a later replacement bag. I mean, look at that compared to the rest of the thing. I, yeah, I think it's been replaced, but I'm very pleased it has. Blimey, please don't get me wrong. Finding a bag for one of these would be an impossible task. Ah, there we go. So we'll put our bag de sac on there. We'll push you down and then in theory it should all sort itself out when we turn the machine on or oh, put our dust sack down with it doesn't really fit I think we're just going to call that there and then we can do our oh no the bag the sack's getting in the way there we go right, I wonder why Hepa think we could bodge onto this let's see if I bother really those bags do look quite nice eh. right, you go on there 
Lovely, yeah. I think they have washed that. I think that's absolutely fine. Look, it's, it's even got that on it, you know. If it was the original bag, if for some bizarre reason this very great clinical machine came with an orange bag, it wouldn't have been this one. But hey, better for us. Alright, what we should need to do now is unwind the cable. Oh, goodness, of course there's no cord hooks on it. Nice long cable, though, in so far excellent physical condition. Oh, what fun could we have with this? Oh, does the hand... Ah, no. It does. I wonder if that handle's split in half. I mean, we didn't try it because it's all a bit corroded. But, yeah, it does. Excellent. Right, I mean, it's a very basic little thing. Which is fine. Oh, one thing I do want to do, which I've wanted to do forever. <sighs> Sorry, rubbish equipment sticker thing. Look, energy equipment. Telephone, Nottingham, something, something, something. I don't care about that. It is going off. That is an original sticker. And we have the ratings plate underneath. All right, that can go on there. This just clips with a little clip like I hang Phoenix's toys up with onto there and crikey I think this is it we are ready to go let's just assume the position in case it turns itself on because I've no idea It, but that's not too bad. That is incredibly loose. That's a bit annoying, but I didn't tighten that bolt up anymore. It's also not at the right height, so bear with whilst I give it an adjustment. I thought it just cut out on me, folks. I just stood on the cable and pulled it out of the wall. Wow, that was looking Hey, it's working well there. Ah, it's again one of those machines where you have to find the right bit of the nozzle, but I think that's it. <laughs> Can imagine. Right, we have the plug pulled out for this one because realise that I think it should have a light. And I undid these two screws. And if I undo this and slide this out, it does indeed have a light socket. It's even handily not written on it. It's 75 watts, 125 volts. And that just looks like a normal, you know, bayonet car fitting. In fact, I would have a 12 volt bulb that would happily fit that obviously wouldn't and I don't have any 240 volt ones I've just been out to the shed to have a look and I'm out of those as well but they wouldn't have fitted anyway so that's fine I'll take a photo of that and see if I can get a bulb I also had a peek under here I wasn't sure if it rotated or what there's this weird button it just pulls out and look here is the adjust right and I have no idea what the heck it does I don't think you're probably not even going to be able to get it apart to do much with it because ah, it's not going to come apart 
all go back together particularly nicely, especially since there seems to be a sort of sprung valve inside. So that's mildly interesting. It also shows us, look, our belt from there. It apparently it's got a nice curvy belt on it. And it certainly does. It's doing belty things and working rather well. So yeah, for now anyway, we're not going to be able to see the lights with this vacuum. Right, all that back together, I've taken the bag back off because, oh, maybe we should have a little sneak peek at things like the state of the, ooh, look at that, state of the carbons. There's some light scorching, oh, of course, you're not going to focus on anything that small. There's some light scorching on them. Oh, really? There we go. But overall, they're pretty good indeed. Drunk. Super. So that's nice, that's that one at least. Oh, we'll put that back in. Which way does it go? Ah, that way. we be very careful with carbons because, I mean, they look like bog standard, you know, Hoop Junior shape style. You can bog them to fit ones. I mean, they might be, who knows? Maybe somebody's been here before. That one is exactly the same, so that is good as well. Last thing I'll have a look at is this oiler here oh, which I don't know if Mr Taylor's put any oil in it I think we may give it just a little drop or two now I'm pretty confident that this stuff here isn't really the right stuff to be putting in here and I, I welcome your suggestions down below is it sewing machine oil I mean it's not too bad at the minute because it will all come apart one day oh my goodness I can't even see to just put a couple of little drips in it needs ah, I think that's too much one for luck but yeah it'll I mean, if anything it'll help lubricate it all up ready for when it comes apart right let's turn it back on and see if it's any happier mildly annoying me it won't stand up with this bag on I think the bag's wrong it's too heavy but we shall cope right let's let's, let's leave it off the floor a little bit Very nice indeed. I think Mr. Tayab did oil it when he first got it. That wasn't much difference at all. The next bit of difference will be after it's all taken apart and refurbished. But, I mean, it doesn't need it, need it. It'd be nice to do. <laughs> so I put my hand on the switch. It'd be nice to do. I think it'll clean up really, really well. And bless it, it's, been, it's, it's all the fun of a Kirby. But without the heft, and equally in the UK, we didn't get the really early, really early small curvies. I mean, so this is probably about as close as I've come. Obviously, it's nothing like a curvy at all, yet it, it's very similar in some ways. So that's very nice. It's works and job done. Hopefully, does that lock up? No. Hopefully, the next time you see this, it will be maybe prettier, hopefully working a bit better, and hopefully... I can find one with a light bulb. That, 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 that'll be interesting to find. Probably more rare than this machine itself. So yeah, comment down below if you've had one of these little itty bitty royals. And until the next time, I and my one, which won't stand up, will see you soon. Bye bye.